Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. This is a roundup for the week of June 4th, 2018. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. We are moving the date of the roundups. Typically they've been on Thursdays, but now going forward, Roundups will be at the beginning of the week on Monday so that you can kind of look back and see what happened on the previous week. With that, let's jump in. Megan Longoria's got a blog post talking about colors and Power BI. This post really goes through more of the science of why you would pick a color or how many colors to pick. She really focuses on picking the main color first and then looking at your secondary or tertiary tertiary colors as part of that. Also talking about highlights, borders, things of that nature. So if you're creating reports and you're picking colors, make sure you're not doing a whole rainbow of colors, but take a look at this blog post to figure out more about the science behind colors. Brett Powell's got a blog post talking about data models and Power BI, and this really goes behind what you should not do with your data models or things that you may be missing from your data models. He's got a number of items that range from normalization of your tables to how you're actually loading your data to your date tables, all types of things related to your data model. So if you're data modeling and you're doing this inside of Power BI, I highly recommend reading this blog post and this will just give you an idea of maybe some things you should or should not be doing and just get those brain cells flowing and thinking about your data model. There's an on-premises data gateway update available for you. There are two main items that are part of this release. The first one is SSO support for the Impala connector. So this is using Kerberos connectivity to Impala from the gateway itself. So if you're using Impala and you wanna use SSO signing capabilities with that from Power BI, you'll definitely wanna update your on-premises data gateway and use this. It is currently in private preview as of the recording of this video. There are details in the blog post of how you can get on board with that to try it out. Staying on the Kerberos SSO topic, there was also an update to the SAP HANA connector and dealing with Kerberos interactivity with that. I know I've been involved with several customers trying to get this up and running. It can be challenging sometimes, so there was an additional configuration that's part of the gateway now that can help with those scenarios. So be sure to download and update to the latest gateway. It also has the latest mashup engine for Power BI, so that's important as well. Links is always down in the description below along with bonus items that aren't included in the video, so be sure to check that out. We have the developer community update for May 2018. And inside this blog post, there are two things I really wanna call out. One is now, if you're embedding reports, you can actually set the background color. Before what would happen is it would end up just being the default gray. And if the page didn't go all of the way and expand the entire iframe, you would see this gray kind of on the sides or on the top and bottom, and it didn't look very well if that wasn't the coloring that you had for your application. So now you can set that background color and this will allow you to match it to your application. So that way it doesn't really look as annoying or get in the way. The other item is a new setup onboarding page. So if you are trying to get up and running with embedding for Power BI, there are some things you have to do, namely creating an app registration, and this new onboard page will walk you through how to do that. It is more complete than what we used to have and it will cover both embedding scenarios. So be sure to check that out. Let me know down in the comments if you've used it or have any feedback. Love to hear that down in the comments below. I mentioned a while back about the release of the business application release notes, specifically the spring 2018 release notes. This is actually a living document and gets updated from time to time with updates that are happening with the product teams. So if you did get that PDF a while back, you wanna make sure you go get the latest one to see any of the updates. And with that, we don't actually need to go get that PDF anymore. It is being hosted now on docs.microsoft.com and you can go see the release notes and go quickly to the section that you're interested in, whether that's Power BI or one of the Dynamics areas or something else. So that is available for you. I have a link down in the comments below, which will take you directly to it. All right, my favorite item in this week's roundup, I'm gonna have to go with the developer community update. The fact that we can set the background colors now, in addition to the new embed setup, I'm very stoked about that. 
But I wanna pass this off to you. Go ahead and let me know what your favorite item was this week and leave that down in the comments below and let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.